All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? Uh, we are doing some more patch notes. It's going to be patch 14.15 this time around, uh, but we're joined once again by Drew. How's it going, Drew? What's up? I'm doing good. Doing awesome, good. awesome. Um, all right, so uh, let's jump straight into it. I know it's a little bit late, um, but we just had to make sure we had our schedules working out and everything. But um, either way, I, I do... I'm kind of excited for this patch, so let's jump straight into it. Um, I'm just, anytime we're late, I'm just going to say we were just doing extensive testing. Yeah, before exactly, we, exactly. Yeah, before we shared our thoughts. <laughs> That's what it was. Yep, yep. All right, uh, there's a bunch of different changes for sure all around. Here's like the overall view, of course. Um, they did have a micro patch for Aurora. Of course, Aurora did. I think she came out this patch, right? Or was it last? Last patch, she last came patch. out. Okay. And then they nerfed her, and then double nerfter on this patch. okay well the uh the micro patch that they did after whatever they did on this patch uh was space armor from 27 to 23 so getting hit there a bit passive percent hp or health damage um getting hit quite a bit as well so it was four percent now it's 2.5 percent the scaling's unchanged and then the q cooldown was eight to six based on rank and now it's um nine to seven seconds based on rank so just a full second longer at every rank and then q recast reduced damage to minions was 50 percent now it's 75 percent reduced damage so um definitely i guess she's a little bit too strong or something so they're hitting her a bit there all around but uh yeah anyways uh they have updated um updates to ranked restrictions we're testing a change to ranked restrictions on the korean server only from 1415 onwards ranked restricted restricted players are required to win three games rather than compete complete five games to recover access to ranked queue nice i kind of like that i think um yeah because you at least have to you win. can't just troll your you can't yeah. troll your games to just get back in to yeah. get back in exactly exactly all right uh do you want to start us off or should i yeah i'll start akali all right. here um so akali they are bringing the cooldown down on her shroud um, instead of just 20 always it's going to start at 20 and it'll go down a second every rank until we get to 16. um wow so that's pretty nice yeah uh, and then perfect execution they're making a couple changes here they're upping the flat damage you get yeah. um and er at early rank um mid rank is unchanged and yeah later it is nerf a bit so you'll get more power early game i guess yep. um, in that which is is going to be nice Definitely. um and then in addition the min max of your second cast like when you you shoot back the other way i guess is also just buffed every rank so it looks like it used to be the minimum you could do is 60 up to 200 now you can do 70 up to 210. And the max you could get out of that was 180 to 600. And now it's 210 to 630. So the second cast damage is just buffed across the board. Huh. And then your cooldown is, well, the damage wise, but then the cooldown is uh, quite a bit longer at rank one and good, a little good. bit longer at rank two. So i think overall this probably is good it's gonna make you be um a little bit more selective with your alt early on because it is a 120 second cooldown yeah, but two minutes um yeah so it's all well, it's gonna you're gonna feel that it's much longer cooldown but if you can use it at the right time you're gonna do uh, probably a lot it's gonna feel like you do a lot more damage early so yeah and um, i'm pretty sure yeah. akali is usually like kind of ult off cooldown in some time some situations uh, especially yeah. in lane just to try to get those early kills and stuff off so yep. i think that's definitely a nice little nerf to it as well plus i i, I yeah. this champ's really annoying already so getting all these buffs yeah. as well you're gonna have to hit her somewhere for sure so yep i agree agree yeah but yeah this is a pretty nice buff for her actually overall nothing super crazy but that w might be to be honest <laughs> yeah, yeah it might i don't know how quickly i don't think she maxes shroud but I no think that's maybe true that I don't I know, but I think late. I think if you if you can put points into it now, you'll it, it'll be beneficial if you can get that early because yeah, you get that cooldown. So, certainly, yeah. certainly. 
All right, uh, Aurora. So these are the changes before that micro patch. Uh, the passive yes. spirit abjuration. Uh, I, I haven't even seen these names yet. I still need to do a, a video on her tra trying her out. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> base move speed uh, was five plus zero point two five percent per level, uh, and now it's five flat plus zero point two percent per level. So just getting a little bit of scaling knocked off of that that's actually not that bad to be honest but uh it is per level as well so that's interesting to note um the bonus move speed per spirit was five percent now it's two percent flat and then it has uh plus point zero one five percent ap scaling which is not super high but it's something um i guess i'm not sure does this mean that she didn't have this before and now she does or um, I'm not actually sure because I have not played this champion yet, but yeah, uh, definitely something to note, at least. Definitely just less, less move speed. Less overall percent. Yeah. Oh, hello, okay. you're back. <laughs> and then uh, Q, the twofold flex, um, or sorry, hex, my bad. Recast cooldown was zero point, was just half a second, and now it's 0 0.1 seconds, so a lot quicker you can recast this. Q2 can no longer miss its original target. So, uh, yeah, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> Have you played this champ at all so far? Or I've her? only played her in Swarm, which is not a good... Okay, um, yeah. Me too. Obviously. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, baseline. But I've played against it, and she feels crazy strong, so... Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. All right, uh, W, Across the Veil. Um, cooldown was... 18 to 14 seconds now it's 22 to 18 so wow four seconds more at every rank that's pretty big mm -hmm. um big nerf on that one uh invisibility breaking on auto attacks will now happen on launch of auto attack auto attack instead of pre-attack invisibility breaking. and this is her this is like okay. her uh this is like her shako type ability where she goes invis mm. um, yeah yeah so the cooldown on that is gonna yeah, that's much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, definitely. All right, uh, E, the weirding. So dash speed was 800 speed. Now it's 150 plus two times your move speed. So it could be like three, 325, let's just say, for like base or whatever. So that's what, 650 plus 150, 700, so 800. So it's already 800 if you have 325. But this will actually be even more as you get more move speed, basically, so. This should be just a straight buff um, at most, almost every situation. Um, and then yeah. R between worlds, uh, damage 250, 375, and 500 at, was the old version, plus 65% AP. Now it is 200, so it lost 50, uh, 325, and 450. So basically 50 flat off every rank in the damage department, and then also negative 5% AP scaling from what it used to be. Um, so yeah. Definitely some pretty decent uh, hits to her. Uh, obviously, I'm not sure how strong she is, but I hear she's pretty good, so probably relatively warranted. <laughs> um, I think the W is probably the biggest thing all around here, but we'll uh, we'll have, definitely have to see, I guess. And I have to feel the most oppressive is the W. Her stealth is really annoying, and then her ult did feel like it just did a ton of damage, and there was oh, okay. not that much... Uh... There's not that much counterplay because once you like popped it, you're just you're stuck. Um, so I think those are the two things that felt the most oppressive. So I think it's good that okay they definitely hit both those with nerfs. Gotcha. Yeah. So how does her R deal damage? Does it deal damage in the path that she teleports through, like the or like when she, where she comes it does out of it? Like does a, an where she comes out of it, it does like a like a explosion basically. Oh, okay, okay. So kind of very just yeah. like uh just like swarm basically. Sort of. yeah, yeah 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 okay, okay. yeah gotcha all right uh moving on we got aurelian soul take it away Ooh. all right aurelian soul um they are cost per second um the mana cost per holding the q mm -hmm. is going up by five at every rank um so a little bit hit on his mana uh his astral flight is just <clears throat> 1500 flat so that's also a bit of a nerf okay. um because he's not going to get the same it's not going to scale basically what you get on rank one distance yeah. wise is what you always have um which feels kind of bad and then i think it does still way... scale with your passive though right the stacks i think yes yes yes, yes, yes. it will sure. scale with that but it won't it won't uh the flat amount yeah that you're skill rank yeah. and then um 
and then um mana cost on the e is up by 10 so overall um just nerfs across the board yeah uh, i didn't think it was that oppressive i know he got hit with some buffs recently so maybe they're just trying to like balance them a bit but yeah maybe um he didn't feel he doesn't maybe it might just be the elos that i'm at but he doesn't he doesn't feel like too crazy right yeah now, but i mean i i could imagine Maybe I haven't watched, been watching the right games, but uh, I haven't really seen him much in pro recently, at least in LCS. Same, so, same. Yeah, yeah, definitely interesting. Yeah, definitely some some big, some pretty decent size to nerfs to him, but yeah. um, nothing game breaking, I suppose. <laughs> um, all right, Cassiopeia, we got uh, mana was three fifty, now it's four hundred, so extra fifty mana. Um, mana growth was sixty, now it's forty, so you're getting more straight up at the beginning but you're not being not scaling as quickly um with the mana department and then uh q noxious blast the mana cost here is going down actually so it was 50 to 90 based on rank now it's 50 to 70 based on rank uh the damage was 75 to 215 uh, that's unchanged but the ap scaling was 90 percent ap now it's uh 70 percent ap that's just on our q of course and then the w miasma um miasma whatever how you say it uh mana cost was 70 to 110 based on rank now it's 70 to 90 so a lot cheaper especially at that uh last rank um in terms of mana which is really nice for her and then twin fang her main damage weapon is going to be uh, the mana cost was 50 to 42 now it's just a flat 40 so it's just basically better at every single rank um and then the poisoned bo bonus damage was 220 to 100 which still is the same for the base but the ap scaling is down by five percent so it was 60 percent ap now it's 55 percent of your ap um yeah so just pretty much buffs across the board uh you also um i think maybe. she's sleeper op here because yeah. you also we'll talk about it later but the great boot inflation of 2024 True. Um, True. doesn't impact her she doesn't buy she boots doesn't buy boot, she gets a free yeah and she gets i'm pretty sure she just yeah. she has better versions of boots too yes i'm pretty sure yes so it's just, just uh more. that's also a buff for her too so she's uh yeah, yeah. She's, she's some big like stuff for big stonks for Cassio right now but uh yep. yeah i hate to see this because honestly she's a very impressive champion um i don't really like mm -hmm. seeing her around but uh um, yeah interesting and we'll, wonder if we'll see her in pro these are definitely really nice uh buffs so i guess in certain situations at least but all right cool Let's see ezreal uh, not too much changing this time but they are taking the um they're taking the AD ratio just down by 10% mm -hmm. on his Mystic Shock uh, shot. So um, just a very slight nerf um, that you'll feel the more AD you build. Um, I think it's probably fine. I don't think it's... Yeah, a, I don't think this will matter too much, but deal. definitely a, a bit of a hit to him, which I think is fine. His Q does a crazy yeah. amount of damage already. It's, so. It does it. <laughs> All right, uh, Aurelia, we got a small change here as well. Base stats, health regen, 8.5 to 6 now. Um, so definitely less uh, sustainability in lane and such. Uh, health was 590, now it's 630, so it's, uh, she's actually a little bit tankier now as well. So there you go. Um, I'm fine with this, I think. Yeah, um, yeah it seems okay. Yeah, it seems all right um yona definitely been the the number one op support for i feel like <laughs> two or three patches right now yeah seems like um so they are taking down the damage on her passive the sunlight passive um by just a little bit used, yeah at max it used to be 168 now it's 151 um and then they're trying to take a bit of the damage out of the w um not early on the first ranks unchanged but then you lose looks like 5 10 15 20 and yeah. um, so at max it'll be 175 instead of 195 um definitely noticeable damage reduction on the w but that's not kind of why she was crazy over powered um, yeah. i can tell you <laughs> having played on this patch um definitely she is not. still the best support uh, this doesn't this doesn't really hurt her whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. It doesn't really hurt anything that she was strong at, so pretty good. Nope. She's fine. All right, uh, Shivana. So we got um, 
says E damage increased. Uh, e flame breath, so base damage. Uh, so yeah, the base damage was 60 to 220, now it's 85, so plus 15 at rank 1 to 245 based on rank. Uh, so also fif basically 15 at every rank. No, no. Oh, sorry, no, it's 25. Sorry, my bad. 25 at rank 1, more damage. Um, looks like 20, yeah, just 25 at every single rank, actually. Um, and then it was 40, plus 40% 40 total AD, now it's plus 50% bonus AD. So that's probably a little bit of a nerf until you put a lot of uh, AD items on her. And then uh, it was 90% AP scaling, now it's 80% AP scaling as well. So um, that's her E, which is, um, you know, her main ability pretty much in the game. Um, our empowered damage was 60 to 220, um, plus that, the based on level is unchanged, the AD scaling was, is actually 30% more damage for the R empowered, and the, the AP scaling is down by 20% as well, which is really good. Um, so the shifting her more to be AD than AP, um, which is what she was strong at, mostly AP, but the uh, empowered flat damage is actually up a bit as well. The 25 that it got on the base damage, of course, uh, is transferring to there, and then the R empowered damage over time, the dot, um, it is the same flat based on level, 30 to 60, but um, the total AD was 5%, now it's 15% bonus AD instead. Um, and then plus 10% AP is unchanged as well on the dot. And then bug fix, damage over time no longer states that it deals 12% more damage than it really does. That's interesting. Okay, there we go. Um, what do you think about that? <laughs> um, I've been seeing a lot of Shivano in my games. Okay, so, since the patch? Yeah. Or? yeah, since the patch, yeah. Okay, okay. So Has, have they been building more AD though? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Strong I've seen or... less of the AP AP nuke Shivana and more of the Good. Like, attack focused Shivana. Uh, still feels pretty strong to be honest. But, yeah, yeah, she um, is pretty I, strong. I, actually. I like playing against that AD version a lot more than the AP version. Yeah, there's way more counter play. I feel like so. That's yes. good. Okay, cool. That's that's. I'm glad to hear that. Actually, that's really good. All right. Um, yeah. Skarner's up next. Skarner. Um, so this guy was terrible. I hated the playing against this guy until they hit him with a bunch of nerfs. So yeah, um, it looks like they're trying to give him something back a little bit because he definitely hasn't played very much anymore. Yeah. Um, so they're giving him some more health growth um, okay. up by five to one ten. Um, they're reducing the mana cost on his Q. Uh, the first attack after casting should come out more quickly and smoothly without player intervention. Okay, so because you can kind of spam the q throw a little bit um mm -hmm. so it is a little bit less mana hungry there with five um and then the yeah. e no longer grab units behind him i think that was just like a weird um like model kind of issue where like the game didn't like he shouldn't have been able to grab people that was behind him but it was like letting him so yeah okay gotcha um, it's kind of like a quality of life but it's it's like it just makes more sense um with how you think it should work um cool. sounds good yeah i think it's yeah. fine i don't think it'll make him crazy OP no, i don't again. think it's that crazy but that's pretty it's pretty nice for him i guess a little bit of yeah. a little bit of help here and there <clears throat> all right uh silas base stats armor was 27 now it's 29 so getting extra two uh flat and then Q slight chain slash uh, was 11 to 7 seconds um, per, based on rank. Now it's 10 to 6 seconds. Um, explosion damage, which is pretty nice actually. Uh, explosion damage was 70 to 290 plus 90% AP. Now it's 60 to 280. So down by 10 flat at every rank and down by 10% of your AP scaling as well. Um, so a little bit less damage overall, but you can put it out, take, you can shoot it out a little quicker at least. Um, W Kingslayer, we have the heal was, the base is unchanged, it looks like. Although, why why is it 20? Where's the 40? Where'd the 40 go? Anyways, I think it's a mm -hmm. typo. Anyways, plus 35% uh, AP was the scaling, now it's plus 20% AP, but it also now has a plus 5% bonus health scaling. So if you build health items on him... Um, or whatnot, you will get extra healing from that, but not as much from your AP. And then the damage uh, was, looks like the flat's unchanged, but the AP scaling, it was 80% AP, now it's 70% AP. So pretty, pretty nice 
nice little nerfs there for sure overall i would say especially the ap version um and then the e abscond slash abduct uh the base is unchanged and then the ap scaling was 100 percent ap now it's 80 percent ap so um overall uh pretty overall nerfs i would say actually no yeah i think so at least sure. to the yeah maybe maybe they wanted to be a little more bruisery so have a little bit more health health building yeah than ap yeah um but less uh you know less damage more health and bruiser yeah yeah but yeah. i think it's a nerf i'm pretty sure it's a nerf seems like a nerf but i feel like yeah. Yeah, I guess they want him to be less of an AP assassin. I feel like this is not great because I feel like they want him to be in, but these all read like kind of nerfs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Could be, could be good. Maybe there's some secret, secret tech that this is crazy about or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, okay, nice. That seems fine with me. What do we got with Tao alone? <laughs> uh... Nothing too crazy here. So short range cast now dash to within 150 units of his target. Um, so I think it's a buff. Let me read the little thing up top. We're buffing his Q dash towards his opponent in almost all cases to help him get the follow basic attack. Yeah, so it's just a buff. I think it's going to just easier uh, at the short range, like when you do a short Q um, to get in range to do the auto afterwards, I guess. Um, yeah true i think it feels kind of bad uh the animation i think what felt a little bit bad when you were like uh right next to him and you press q it's sometimes hard to get that extra auto attack so now it looks like you're gonna have a little yeah. bit of a dash regardless whether you're short range or long range q uh -huh, uh -huh. Yep. Right, so cool. that's good that's good for him yeah that's pretty nice for him um <clears throat> various we got uh base stats attack damage going up by two so i think they brought it down by four last time so this is kind of uh, reverting a little bit of that, I believe. And then, yes, yes. yeah. So, passive living vengeance. Minion kill attack speed was 10%. Now it's 10, 15, and 20% at levels 1, 7, and 13. Uh, that's on minion kill. And then, champion takedown, you get 40% attack speed and 15% attack speed as attack damage uh, that was what it used to be now it's 50% attack speed so 10% more and 25% attack speed as attack damage and ability power so um plus 10% more of that as well so nice little buffs on the champion takedown which makes sense um and then champion takedown attack speed cap uh was 2.763 now it's 3.0 so it looks like he has he breaks the attack speed cap a little bit if he gets a champion takedown as well so there you go it's buffed a little bit more and then w oh sorry go ahead no i was gonna say i like uh i personally like when uh varus is uncapped. playable because i feel like oh he, yeah yeah and, and well i just in general i like because he i feel like he brings a lot of uh he's like ash in a way like he brings a lot of utility from an ad character yeah that a lot Definitely of them don't spicy. have so um <laughs> i think i think yeah i feel like it's it's good whenever he gets some some buffs of any kind yeah, I don't think. I mean, I think he is relative, or at least was relatively strong. So, I, but like, I think it's fairly healthy. Um, maybe, maybe not, but we'll see. Um, yeah. The W blighted quiver on hit damage was seven to thirty-five based on rating. Now it's five to twenty-five. So, down by two on the on hit damage at level one, and then at level uh, five, it's actually going to be down by ten. So, definitely mm -hmm. pretty big nerf on that for sure. Um, definitely sucks a bit but overall i don't know overall i think it's fun i think this is mostly buffs um i think so in general so i think it's good but uh nothing super not not big buffs i would say it's almost dead even but um maybe maybe this is more than it seems though we'll see uh definitely can be pretty pretty large for adcs but yeah all right your boy yes yeah, so, yeah, so changes Got the brothers like some like. buffs <laughs> yeah, when you change one, you gotta change both of them. So, uh, so Yasuo is getting two more armor. Um, okay. Cool. And then he's getting on his E, Weeping Blade, he's getting, it looks like, damage added to the flat damage every rank. So mm -hmm. it was 60 to 100, now it's 70 to 130. Ooh. So that's actually quite a bit of damage yeah. adding in there. And then um, the bonus damage per stack is, uh, this is a big, or big buff as well. It's just 25% flat um bonus damage now instead of a sliding scale from like 15 to 25 and then uh so it'll just be giving you that max value i guess at all times okay which is, nice which is pretty good so actually a little bit more armor but a good amount of damage being put 
into his E there. Um, yeah. Extra damage. So, yeah, Definitely. feels like he'll like that. It's a really nice frame for sure. Um, all right, you get the other side. Uh, Q Mortal Steel. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is a bigger one, actually, to be honest. Um, the damage on it was two, sorry, 20 to 100 on the flat. Now it's 20 to 120, so you're just getting uh, an extra 20 damage at max range, yeah, which yeah. is you're going to be maxing this early, of course. So, yep. um, Pretty nice, just extra bit of damage. It is only flat, but um, pretty pretty nice. And then R Fate Sealed, uh, the cooldown was 120 to 60. Now it is 120 to 80, so 120, 100, and then 80 uh, based on rank. So that's also really nice and healthy, I think, because uh, it can be yeah, pretty low okay. cooldown. <laughs> but uh, yes. I don't think it's the end of the world either um, for him. So I think it's just fine. But yeah. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. All right. And then Zed. Um, Zed doing a, it looks like a slight adjustment to the Q. So it used to be 80 to 220. Now it's 80 to 240, so it goes more uh, flat damage at every rank past the first, um, yeah. but it loses 10% scaling off of bonus AD. So okay. a little bit of an adjustment, it's but I think probably fine, yeah. it's probably fine. And then cooldown on his ultimate is going up, which I think is good. Um, yeah. He's yeah. pretty alt dependent, but it did feel like it was a bit too low of a cooldown kind of like yon so yeah i think yeah. it's good um it'll be unchanged rank one and then at max rank it gets 20 extra seconds added so definitely yeah, and i think it's good pretty sure most lethality items have like ability haste in it so i'm pretty sure this is obviously gonna be a lot lower than that as well so yeah yeah all right uh items already wait did, was cho not changed in this patch hold on okay yeah no, no I, I don't he, think so was it last patch did I miss a patch? Oh, dang it. So. I thought this was the show patch. Never mind. Dang it. <laughs> it might be in the patch preview. Maybe. No, I don't think he was in the last patch either, so maybe oh. he's going to be in the upcoming patch. Okay, maybe they took it out or something. Okay. All right. Uh, well, anyways, um, items. we got Death Dance armor going to, from 40 to 50, so just a little bit stronger, a little bit tankier there. Got the big Kraken Slayer butt nerf. <laughs> um, take it away, take it away. Um, Kraken Slayer. I did just look it up, by the way. The, the, some of the show changes were in the last patch. Last patch, like the, okay. This, the, uh, the Swarm patch. Gotcha, that must be what I was thinking yeah. of. Did we miss a patch? Yeah, yeah, so, no, because we did the Swarm patch, I think. Okay. Because I remember doing the Swarm patch. Maybe we that's probably what I remember. Just... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, I mostly remember Swarm from that one, but okay. show changes were in there, so. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, okay, let's see. Kraken Slayer. Um, it was retooled to be more of an early game gambit. Yep, true. So they're giving uh, reducing the move speed uh, from 7% to 5%, and then they are uh, reducing the effectiveness of the uh i guess i think bring it down is the thing that helps you shred tanks if i'm not mistaken yeah it's the on hit damage yep the, it's third the on hit. hit damage yeah yeah, yeah yeah the third hit damage so it's it's gonna be reduced um for range champions yep. which i mean it primarily adcs well. are building this so it's yeah. pretty much just a straight nerf to kraken uh, move speed and damage there on the on that passive ability. Absolutely, yeah. I think yep. uh, um, mostly ADCs are building this, obviously. So um, it's definitely just going to be a little bit worse for them for sure. Um, a lot of people are building like either this or Static Shiv, I think, as first items. So um, definitely some pretty large hits to Kraken. Luckily for my one trick, it doesn't matter because he's not ranged. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're yeah, good. True, true. You are good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Lord Dominic's regards, getting um, the armor penetration going from 40% to 35%, so a bit of a nerf there. They've been kind of hitting this pretty hard. Um, I don't know if it's the best armor pin item anymore, to be honest. I feel like it's not. Um, just because they removed it's, the Giant Slayer passive. That's the main thing. Yeah. And then yeah, they've been they hitting it ever since. There, there were some games where you would like not rush it but get it like, pretty 
like maybe pretty early on and i feel like that's not as useful anymore <laughs> yeah and then motor reminder just gets the same thing 40 percent uh or no actually sorry it's attack damage was 40 now it's 35 so down yep. a little bit there similar but yeah 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 yeah, exactly. Five. Um, static Shiv, everyone's favorite item. Um, <laughs> they're making some adjustments again. These are getting very similar nerfs to Kraken, so the move speed yep. is going down by two. So it's 5% move speed to get it in line with Kraken Slayer. Um, and uh, show that not just boots are being suffering from inflation. Uh, the gold cost is up by 100, so 2900 for Static Shift now. Yeah, it's fine. I don't really buy the item anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. Personally. Uh, all right, Storm Surge, uh, Storm Raider bonus move speed was 25% for two seconds. Now it's 35% for two seconds. So extra 10% move speed bon on there. Okay. Um, and then Squall ranged modifier was 75%. Now it's 90%. Uh, I don't think Squall's nerf for range juice to make it more appealing to them. Okay. Oh, the ranged. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. for ranged champions, it doesn't deal quite as much. It was the 75%, now it's 90%, so it's actually a lot better. Almost the full damage. Okay. Almost. Gotcha. Not, not bad at all. Cosmic Drive. Yeah. Um, I don't see too many people build Cosmic Drive, so... Not really. Um, it's, it's getting the buff for health. <laughs> I think it's pretty good, so um, I think it's... Obviously, it's going to be probably even better now, so... Yep. It's getting uh, 100 more health on the item, and then your movement speed that you get um when you proc it is going up quite a bit actually so it was 25 to 60 now it's 40 to 60 so um max rank you won't feel it but it'll be the same but early it's almost what just about doubled um yeah and most i mean early. honestly not that many people are getting level 18 so i think it's not gonna matter exactly. much but yeah the exactly. 40 up for us it's really nice for sure yeah. all right uh, Hextech Rocket Belt, just a small change, gets 100 extra health. Uh, it's pretty nice for it, but it's not really good enough because the, the item just doesn't deal any damage pretty much. It's very small dash. It's not really worth it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyways. Uh, void Staff, just 5 extra damage. Let's go. That's big. No other changes, so yeah, you know, we take that. <laughs> we take those. Uh, no yeah, Magic it Mantle. It costs 450, now it's 400, so they're just kind of rounding it down a little bit, making it easier for uh, all those people that do the uh, gold efficiency. <laughs> and then yep. uh, Magic Resist actually going down by, by 5 as well for it as well, which does kind of suck a bit, but it's not too big of a deal, I don't think. Um, resulting items have total price and final MR values unchanged. So it's just this item. Everything else is still the same that it builds into. And then we got our boots. Do you want to start us off? Yes. So we're going to get into all the boot nerfs. Um, <laughs> so if you haven't been hearing, they new nerfed boots across the board. Um, very sad times. Yeah. So biggest nerf, I think biggest nerf for my money is on Merc Treads. Yeah, um, definitely. It is up gold. It's up from one, one eleven, uh, eleven hundred to twelve hundred. So, it's uh, costs you a hundred more gold, and you also lose five magic resist. Um, and I think the theory there, yeah, it's around. It's you're. It's gonna feel like a two hundred gold nerf because you lose stats and it costs more. Um, yeah. So, I mean, people were definitely buying this for like the tenacity benefits alone. So I think they just yeah. want to make it not as OP as it, it felt. Yeah, this is basically one of the best items in the game, uh, or at least boots. Yeah. I mean. Um, and honestly, especially in like a CC comp, it was it was almost like you'd see a yeah. whole team of this. You know? Super nice. Um, honestly, only a hundred gold isn't that crazy. I mean, it's a lot, but it's not that crazy. That's an extra wave, for sure, of, of minions, of course. And then five magic is also not the end of the world, but definitely definitely a nerf, for sure. Pretty pretty large nerf. Um, and then Berserker Greaves just getting 5% less attack speed. This is honestly not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, but definitely bad. definitely a hit, for sure. Yeah. Um, this one is kind of annoying for me so boots of lucidity 100 extra gold uh cost and it's losing two um on the haste that it gives so not the end of the world i think especially if you're a mid laner like it's not and you're buying this it's it's really not the end of the world but um if you're a support 
Um, you definitely will definitely notice this. I've <laughs> noticed this for sure because you get way less gold. So it's pushing, yeah. it's pushing your back timer. Like if you wait to back to get this first, Extra, which like, a lot what, of couple minutes sports will do. Yeah, it pushes it back quite a bit because you're not you're not generating gold as quickly. So um, yeah, definitely noticeable. It's it's got me thinking maybe I shouldn't just like first back buy full boots anymore and <laughs> think of some other options. But yeah, maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Yeah. Don't like that change, but you know it is what it is. Uh, I I saw Ellis's patch notes. He actually said this is probably going to be the best boots, or like your best pretty much option now after all these nerfs, because it still Sorry. gives that full ability haste. Plus, it still gives yep. almost all almost all the summoners that it had, yep. and then obviously yep. it's a, an extra hundred gold, so it's an extra roughly wave, um, or yep. you know maybe about a minute, minute and a half or so of support generation. Um, yeah, if you're if you're farming, this is this isn't the end of the world. It, yeah. it doesn't hurt that much. But yeah. I think this is still probably one of the best because it didn't really didn't get hit as much as the other ones. I would say. True, true, true. true. Agree. Um, and then uh, plated steel caps is getting extra two hundred gold on, so that's one of the bigger ones. And then the plating is actually going up from eighty percent to ten percent, which I believe it was twelve percent, and they nerfed it to eight a couple patches ago. So um, it's getting like half of that reverted basically to here. So it's definitely a little better but um yeah this is one of the bigger price changes uh, it's yes. gonna hurt quite a bit yeah uh sorcerer shoes no price change here just losing some magic pen um, so... it's not crazy but it's it's still big yeah it's not too crazy it's it's gonna there may be a few matchups where you were winning them especially mid because you had sorcerer's shoes and that early pen, but I don't, I don't think yeah. it's that big of a deal. Didn't get, didn't get the price change at least. So that's, that's pretty exactly. Yeah, fun. without the price change, that's why I think it's, I think it's totally fine. Yeah, and then boots of swiftness is getting the extra hundred gold on top of it, which is I think one of the, one of if not the cheapest boots I believe. Um, yeah. At least yeah. before. I guess Ionia boots are the same price actually. So, but yeah, yeah. Ionia or, or or Swifties are. Uh, definitely an extra 100 gold more um the symbiotic. big winner symbiotic <laughs> souls yeah um, unchanged it i don't think these are good but no. i do build them i do build them because <laughs> they feel fun uh, good, so i'll good. build them on like i'll build them on like nautilus if, if i'm gonna or like bard yeah, if roaming. i'm gonna roam around a lot yeah i i do build these and it's fun to have them but i'm not even in the game, when I do it, I'm like, I don't, I don't feel like this was the optimal choice. But, yeah. <laughs> no, probably not. But I mean, it's definitely, definitely an option for sure. Yeah, but not bad. And they, they got no nerfs, no price change. So yeah, I think yeah. maybe they will be a bit more, bit more viable for those roaming supports now. Maybe. Yeah, for sure. All right. Um, <clears throat> what's in? We got uh, Frey was 15 to 80 on the is the on hit damage. Um, now it's 40 to 80. So just uh plus 35 wait no 25 25 uh flat damage on the on hit which uh, once you get this item usually right at around like what eight or level eight or nine at least if you get it pretty early usually um depending on you know how the game goes of course you could get it a little bit earlier or later but um mm -hmm. yeah just just really nice uh for what's in plus they they removed the ad of course a uh, several patches ago from the item so it's just uh, this is where most of your damage is going to be coming out so it's it's a nice compensation i guess a little bit <laughs> it's okay it's fine yeah um i was sad about this change a bit uh abyssal mask yeah so they a few patches ago um oh yeah it even says it in the way, but, <laughs> like a few patches ago they tried to make it um a more like a more attractive support item mm -hmm. in and like like something that supports would look at and build more often than not um if you're yeah. if the game called for it um, but they're kind of walking that back a bit. So they're increasing the cost. It was 2300 which is like a really nice price point for a support. Yeah. Now it's 2500 So not like completely out of reach, but it's not as much Harder as like shot. a no-brainer. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they do give you more uh, Magic as a Shred, and the That's radius nice. that you can apply that is bigger. So it does get some power uh, along with the price increase. Yeah. Um, but I think definitely with supports anyway, you'll have to like think twice before you just like lock this in every single time. Yeah, it's definitely situational, but I think overall this yes. is probably good. Um, I think so, yeah. A better item overall, but yeah, definitely, definitely hurts to be a little extra, extra cost yeah. for sure. 
Uh, all right, runes. Uh, Dark Harvest, we got cooldown was 40, now it's 35 seconds. And on takedown reset timer uh, is now, was 1.5 seconds, now it's 1 second, so nothing crazy there, but yeah. Uh, nice. Just little little buffs to that. They've been slowly buffing that, actually, so that's, that's interesting. They have been, yeah. And then, um, last but not least, Fleet Footwork. <laughs> um, so they felt like Fleet was a bit overpowered, I think. Um, at least early. So the heal you get is, used to be 8 to 110. Now it is 5 to 120. Um, and you still get 10% bonus AD. You still get 5% AP. Um, don't know what that following stat progression multiplier versus linear means. I or like some kind of formula on the back end, like yeah. on how it links up basically. But the gist of it is I think they're trying to make it less um forgiving early on. Yeah, lowering the early heal on fleet and backloading into level 14. So not that it's useless past level 14, but you you were really taking fleet for like laning and now it will be nerfed. Like yeah. basically all throughout the laning phase. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Some some hits there. I don't think it's the end of the world, but we'll see. It could it could matter, honestly. Um, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah. All right. Uh, next up, we got Arena. There's a bunch of changes to like Koi Pond and stuff. There's a lot of different changes here. Obviously, we're not going to go through all of them, but it's it's uh it's a lot of changes. They're pretty big too. So uh, definitely take a look at those if you're interested in that. Um, they have balance for for champions and items and stuff as well. And then bug fixes, of course got aram changes as always and swarm changes as well this is probably one of the more interesting ones actually um mm -hmm. so we got some some pretty good stuff there some buffs and nurse definitely take a look at those um I, if we had more time i think we'd, we'd do like a little patch notes for swarm and stuff like that maybe even arena but um don't have that time right now but yeah ooh, blast, blaster got nerfed a little <laughs> Uh, but yeah, ov overall, got some quality line ch life changes, bug fixes. What were you thinking about this patch so far? Or overall? Um, overall, it, it feels like a fine patch. Um, nothing feels from the buff category. Like, I guess nothing felt like OP. Um, I do think that Leona, the nerfs to Leona didn't really do anything. And yeah. I do think that Casio is, is, not, not just strong. like memes because of the boots, but I, I think like th that does help her, but the other buffs help her too. I think Cassio might be the winner of this patch. I've been seeing her mid and top and even like playing bot, like farming, like AP carry bots. So I've been seeing Cassio in all three lanes after this. So yeah, definitely. She definitely feels like uh, the big winner. Sure. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely some, some big, big buffs are her for sure. And then uh, new accounts will now be required to play 10 normal Summoner Rose Rift games prior to being able able to play ranked. Um, so if you weren't playing any normal games, you, you have to do that now once you get level 30, of course. Um, and you have to like be level uh, 30, obviously, and own 20 more champions, all that stuff like that. Uh, and then adjustments to queue declining. Amount of declined queues required to trigger lockout is now two declines. Um, so you, you could decline four queues and then you'd have to be locked out for a little bit i think a little bit of time or something i can't remember exactly because i've never done this i don't decline queues but some people do uh, <laughs> a lot and then uh the warning of course was three right before you got that fourth and now it's just one since it's just two so um it'll give you a little a bit of a warning just don't decline a lot of queues that's all yeah, um, just don't do it <laughs> just don't do it got the the skins looks like some skins and chromas are released this patch um this this splash looks kind of sick not gonna lie she's looking yeah, pretty that's sick. a good skin uh, the anima prestige battle leona is pretty good skin oh, yeah yeah primordian atrox looking pretty sick too honestly i like it uh, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it for us today. Thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate it. And uh, we will catch you in that next one. Peace.